Hello everybody, this is Brett. Um, I wanted to show you what I was working on for uh, Dave Phillipson and the Coco FPGA uh, community. It's a uh, Coco Boot. Uh, it's a Coco Boot uh, front end written in assembler that boots um, OS9 or Nitros directly off the SD card of the FPGA. Um, it's not quite all there yet, but I was able to make it boot uh, Nitrous 9, so let me turn it on here for you. And there it goes, and it parts out at the end because I'm actually trying to boot a uh, drive wire image, then I don't actually have the drive wire thing in the I don't have the drive wire image in the drive wire server, but um, I don't really need the drive wire server. Um, I will put this on a ROM eventually, so you can just burn it into your FPGA and uh, select the appropriate disk ROM, and it'll boot it up for you automatically. But for right now, for testing, I use drive wire to uh, get it into memory because it's just much easier to program that way. Um, and as you see, it's. Uh, doesn't exactly recognize uh, the Coco partition table yet. Um, it knows when it's not there, which is sort of halfway there. If anybody actually takes interest in this, I'll flesh it out more. But um, prints the volume name of the of the uh, RBF file system that it finds. Um, it loads OS9 boot directly from the file system. Um, you don't need to do any fancy linking or anything. Uh, you don't need to install the OS9 boot file as long as it's on your it's in your root directory of your uh, your SD card. You're you're all set. It also loads a a kern replacement module called CCB kern, uh, which is basically just a slightly modified uh, kernel module that doesn't expect or it doesn't load OS9 because it expects that the booter actually already loaded in. Um, and then you see where it transfers control to Kern, and then Kern takes over, and this is all your normal OS9 boot up stuff. And um, it will actually boot to OS9 drive wire if I actually were to insert the proper drive wire disk, but I don't really actually have a clue how to uh, compile or assemble Nitrous all that well, and to make my own drivers for the SD card. I think Gary has them written, but I don't know how to incorporate them into the source and make it compile. So if anybody wants to help me, go right on ahead. <laughs> if anybody wants to send me a disk image, I'll be happy to boot it and prove that it boots. But I'm pretty sure it boots, because everything else I've ever done with the Coco Boot interface seems to actually just kind of work, which is sort of amazing compared to how hacky it actually is. So anyway, that's what I've been working on. If you guys uh, want to help or have suggestions, let me know. Thanks.